I have a lot of reloading presses. We're talking about an insane reloading press collection. Gavin Gear here from ultimatereloader.com. In this video, we're gonna look at a press that's a little bit different. Actually, it's a lot different. This is the RCBS Summit Single Stage Press. When you see me set up this press, you'll see why this press is truly unique and it has some really interesting attributes and features that make it kind of in a class of its own. So let's get this baby out of the box. I'm gonna mount it to an inline fabrication ultra mount, and then we'll do some operations on the press to see how we like it. Let's get going. So I've been waiting to do this for a while, and I've heard from some good friends some good things about this press. One of my friends, Mark Lefevers, likes to take it to the range. He did a, an article on accurateshooter.com about that. So I think, you know, it's a, it's a pretty interesting press design and I can't wait to see how it works. Look at that. Looky, looky. It's got that wonderful CBS silver and green kind of crackle finish. Okay. So I've got the, looks like a spent primer tray here. Wow, look at that. Okay. So it looks like all we really need to do is mount the handle and I'm right-handed. So I'm just gonna kind of screw this in. And I'll go ahead and tighten that down as well. Looks like the ball needs to be tightened. I like that nice smooth ball. It's not gonna kind of chap your hand or whatever. And so this is, this is the big deal with this press. The cartridge is stationary, the case is stationary, and it, the die moves up and down with the ram. How cool is that? So let's get it mounted to that inline fabrication ultra mount. Okay, so I've got my inline fabrication ultra mount. This has the quick change top system. So I've got a number 26 quick change top plate and that's gonna work with the RCBS Summit. Got a 7 seconds Allen key and a 9 socket and driver. So I think what I'm gonna do for this is I'm gonna just try and set this upside down, okay? And then we're just gonna run both of these bolts through. And then there's nylock nuts, which are nice because they're not gonna back out on ya which obviously is not what you want. Okay, now we just need to tighten things down. It's a pretty, pretty quick process. And once we have the quick change plate attached, it's a simple matter of turning the press over. We're gonna drop the tab in through the slot and then attach the quick change wing nuts. Very quick system. Really like how I can switch between my many presses really quick. The system. Okay. So there we go. One thing is left and that's to attach the spent primer tray. So to install the primer catcher, we just use the two included Allen screws and we install those into the two holes on the front of the press. And what's nice about this primer catcher assembly is that it works one of two different ways. If you have your press mounted on the edge of your bench, which this inline fabrication ultra mount simulates, you can hang it down like so. The primers will just drop down in. But if it's mounted on a plate or in the middle of your bench, you can actually turn it around and it will still catch the primers, you just kind of have to tilt it up like that and have them fall into the bottom. So since we're essentially mounted on the edge of the, the bench, as it were here, which is kind of our ultra mount, I'm gonna use the downward orientation and I'm just gonna leave myself a little bit of a friction fit here for these so that this doesn't kind of rattle around and make sure I can still get that on and off smoothly. Perfect. So now that we're finished with the initial setup of the RCBS Summit, let's do a little 6.5 Creedmoor sizing and bullet seating 
and I think I'm going to use the RCBS gold metal die set in 6.5 Creedmoor for that. So let's see how that's going to work. So I'm going to start with the shell holder and this involves basically taking any removable shell holder, you give it a little bit of a twist and I hold the back here to hold this clip in place. So that's easy and then removal you're just going to rotate it kind of the other way. So it's a little bit different, there's a little bit of a technique to it, uh, but once you get that down it's, it's super smooth. So I'm going to screw a die in here. This is the gold metal 6.5 Creedmoor Sizer D primer. I'm just going to lower the die. That sounds kind of funny. This is this is totally awesome. Doing something completely different basically. We're going to give this a little bit of a cam over. Okay, and then we're going to give the lock ring a finger tighten. Okay, now let's size some brass and we're going to use our case gauge make sure our sizing is good. Okay, so let's go ahead and size a piece of brass and then check it with a case gauge. I'm using an Ellie Wilson gauge here and that looks good. It confirms that we're going to chamber correctly and have the proper sizing relative to the headspace dimension and we're off and running. Feels a bit more consistent in force, I would say, compared to some of the other presses that I'm used to using. And it really looks different at first to have this die moving up and down, but I really like the feel of the press. It's very compact and small as well. All right, let's eat some bullets. So since we were good on the sizing die setup, I'm gonna go ahead and tighten the set screw that's gonna preserve that die depth setting. And we can just unscrew the die get ready to screw in our gold metal window seater. Okay, so for this die, what we want to do is screw it basically down until it just about contacts the shell holder. That's the first step. So let's see where we're at here. Okay, a little bit more. Okay, back it off a bit. And then we can go ahead and tighten the lock ring because this is not kind of the critical setting for the die. The critical setting is going to be the actual depth of the micrometer adjustments. We're going to take reference cartridge. Go ahead and put that in. Okay, and then I'm going to screw the seating plug down with using the micrometer until I feel it hit. Okay, now we're ready to seat bullets. So the way this die works is really cool. You just insert a case that's ready to have a bullet seated, drop the bullet into the window, and then that's about it. It's really quick, and what's really nice about this particular bullet seating arrangement is that it maintains perfect concentricity between the case and the bullet. And that means less bullet run out, and that means a more accurate shooting cartridge. And that's what we want. You can still place the bullet on the case to seat like that, or you can use the drop-in window, but when you've got that drop-in window, I don't see a reason to seat the bullet in a conventional fashion. So there you go, real slick. So there you have it, the Summit in action. Now, the astute amongst you probably realized that I didn't do any powder charging, I didn't do any priming. For this video, I just wanted to focus on the on-press procedures, and I've got tons of videos that you should check out that cover the entire precision rifle reloading process from start to finish. So stay tuned here. Make sure you're subscribed to Gavin Tube to catch more RCBS Summit action and all the other action that I've got going on here on the channel. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Until next time, happy shooting and happy reloading. Yeah.